21st annual National Queer Arts Festival. <laughs> Our amazing founding board member, Blackberry. And Bob's going to tell us a little bit about what you have to look forward to in the festival. Okay, tomorrow is music, and it's at uh, Soma Bar. It's an honor between art and sound, and also procedures for entering an enclosed space is at Culture, which is on Franklin, and it's on the port. So we have these two coming up, and also. We have this little piece of paper, which is a survey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fill this out for us, please. Our funders need to know how many bodies we're in the community. And this is how we get our funding. So please, fill these out before you go. And enjoy the rest of the show. And enjoy the rest of the festival. There's lots of things left, so check, grab one of these on the way out. Just a few more announcements, just a few more, a little bit more of a commercial break. So, if you're an artist and you see something that is completely inspired by this evening, and you're like, you know what, I would really love to have a residency with the National Queer Arts Festival, you should come to our Creating Queer Community Program. Um, this is where we commission programs and help to create. Uh, we will be giving you assistance in grant writing, program planning, production, and marketing. The introductory meetings will be held at Richmond High School Theater. I said Richmond, yes, we are standing into Richmond. Very excited about that, taking over the Bay Area. Even this year, we started early. We started in May, we'll end in July, taking up all the space, just like all the letters. On July 11th, we're in Richmond High School, the LGBT Center in San Francisco, July 12th, and Culture Collective in Oakland on July 14th. So, without further ado, Y'all put your hands together for the amazing, for the spectacular, for the brilliant and the beautiful, the state of black bodies! Police said I'm swerving. Man, these cops be lurking. 
Don't believe me, just watch. Body camera on and you still get shot. Mm -hmm. Siri, why do cops like to kill niggas? Mm -hmm. Fuck you mean the revolution will be televised. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows it's gonna be streamed on Facebook Live. As witnesses take out their phones to record the last seconds of their life on the platform of BART. Videos of black homicide, it's provocative. It's art. And I'm just a nosy bitch here for the comments and the conversation thread. Another black man dead, shot six times, twice in the head. But you, you see it as an opportunity to show interest, to decorate a poster like a do-it-yourself project on Pinterest. A repost on Instagram doesn't make you an activist. Fuck how you feel, nigga, we still feel niggas. Make a man to pray again. Many black folks lazy. Mm -hmm. This is not America. This is Martin Luther King's nightmare. It was never meant for us to be here. Black boys get lynched outside of corner stores. The U.S. government injected syphilis into black men's pores, cut out the cervix of him together. This is America. Where they dropped bombs over Oklahoma, black Wall Street in flames. Because an elevator operator, 17-year-old white girl, said that she was offended by a black boy. 34 years later, in Mississippi, Emmett Till was killed because a white woman said that she was offended. This is the consequence of white privilege. Then this bitch had the nerve to call the police. We can't even barbecue in peace. Mm -hmm. Teach me. America will get you limited, get you lynched up on metal and still in America black bodies must run. Being black and body in America will get you rushed to your death by soldiers for cops on black rock seeking to abolish black bodies in America. This is that new age millennial lynching. They are not bringing in the drugs anymore. They are toting in the copper and metal into our neighborhoods, onto our blocks. And they dare our black mothers to speak or even seek justice for black blood on concrete. This is not a one man army. This is a culture. I was nine years old the first time I was ever called a nigger. 15, the first time I was ever called a black bitch. 22, the first time I was ever called dying. Bull dagger, free black bodies be strange fruits. Be mute. Be Dante. Be Justin. Be Sandra, be Eric, be Kendrick, be Jordan, be LeVon, be Kenny, be John, be Ramon, be Sean, be Irvin, be Larry, be Danny, Sister on the call. Be easy. Window, to make it be Tony. Be Herbert. It's be Walter. Be Eric. Be Alton. Be the cop. Be Freddie. Be Patrick. Black bodies. Was it to turn water into blood that which 
feels but her hands wrapped around necks both bitten, never bitter. Despite mean mugs played across faces each time their name was produced to nigga. We are their elixir. To turn castor oil to constellation, I am deficiency into alignment with crystalline, the likes of which we have not yet seen what our great, great, great grandchildren will thank us for. Wrestling our every demon back into the earth from which they came, even the ones we never claimed, even ones we never named. The ones our ancestors shoved into liver, which later collapsed into memory and enigma. With every casket carried out of double doors, their spirits overlooked the service, whispered, Don't celebrate this anymore. Celebrate that which I was born with. Before we learn what love was not and passed this pattern on to, each offspring we left crying in the corner while we parted and bullshit our way to the corona. Don't pull out no more liquor for me. I need a listen. Let this poison seep into the depths of your soul. How make more attention for the core of you that knows this life is but a mission. A road travels back to infinite existence. Don't you wish me back into this body? Haven't we had enough mischief, mistakes, misguided, misplaced, misalignment, mismanning, marching through the mud? If you ain't right not washing the sacraments that dissolve us, how could you call this love? Don't pour out no more liquor. We need your elixir. You were born in this lifetime just to fill up space with pictures. Do you understand the albums you carry in your chest? Ones that can't be contained in room, building, or flesh bigger than our collective minds can conceive. And all we ask is for your open hearts to receive it, to embark on what is coming some of us have to leave. And we know this precious life is but a contradiction. Blacks scattered on blocks needing immediate attention. It's still black matter appearing solid in a physical dimension. So with this in mind, do not replicate evil's form. It will be stormed, struck, blown up by an intentional swarm. And when this comes to pass, have no regrets. Watch the work of your hands be molded into a dance without feet. At this point, you will join us in our seats. As this life you shed skin for will all but echo in a beat. So don't. Pour out no more liquor for me. Their jobs for all their lateness and unwoken eyes. I guess that's why I didn't see their story in the New York Times. 